This hypnosis routine is made possible by 8 equals negative 3, the show that encourages you to question everything. Hello, my name is Oren Otter. The purpose of this video is to help you implant within your own mind the memories of origins within a furry world. You will be able to convince yourself that you have come from a world inhabited by talking animals. This is, of course, for entertainment purposes only, and perhaps a little bit of education. The memories that you experience will not be real, but for a short time it will seem as if they are. Now for those of you who have any misgivings about going into trance, I would like to take a moment to reassure you that hypnosis is as safe as going to sleep. I can't make you do anything that you don't want to do. I cannot make you my slave, and I wouldn't do that anyway. You'll be in control of yourself the entire time. And if at any point you don't like what I'm doing, you're free to stop me then and there. Now I would like you to be as comfortable as you can possibly be. So go ahead and either sit or lie down in a position in which your head is supported. I'm going to be taking you into a state of deep relaxation, and we don't want your head flopping around when you relax your neck. So go ahead and get comfortable. Just go ahead and relax as much as you can. Just concentrate on the sound of my voice and let my words do all the work for you. Your job is just to relax, to relax and concentrate on the sound of my voice. Now if you're ready, we'll begin. I want you to focus on your toes. Make sure that each toe is just as relaxed as it can possibly be. Starting with the little toes on the outside, going all the way to the big toes. Just making sure that each one is absolutely relaxed. No tension in the muscles. Just being completely at ease. And as you relax your toes, you're going to notice a warm, pleasant sensation washing over them. It's as if you're dipping them into a nice, pleasant tub of warm water. Just feels so good as you relax and let that energy wash over your toes and up into your feet. And as it comes up into your feet, it will help you to relax all of the muscles in your feet, in the arches, in the toes, in the heel, in the ankle, just making everything feel so good, so completely relaxed, letting go of all the stress letting go of all the tension, just making you feel so good so that you just stop holding on to any stress, stop holding on to any worry, stop holding on to any care, just relax and feel good as you listen to the sound of my voice, letting my words craft your reality for you, and you can now feel that warm, pleasant sensation, that warm, wonderful energy rising up past your ankles into your lower legs, making the muscles in your shins and your calves relax. So just go ahead and let go. Let those muscles completely relax. Let go of all the stress. Let go of all the tension. Just feeling good, feeling comfortable and warm and peaceful as that warm, pleasant energy rises all the way up to your knees, just making everything feel so good as it continues up past your knees into your upper legs, just making everything feel so good, so relaxed. So peaceful and comfortable, coming up into your thighs, 
up into your hips and your buttocks, just feeling so good, so completely relaxed and peaceful. All of the stress just melting away. You can just let it all melt away. Let all the tension go. Let all the stress go. Just feeling good as you relax and listen to my voice. Just feeling so calm and peaceful and relaxed as that warm, pleasant energy comes up through your groin, up towards your waist, making everything from the waist down completely relax. And you're also starting to feel that warmth beneath your fingernails now, spreading out from the fingernails up into the fingers just feeling so good as if you're dipping your fingers into nice warm water feeling so pleasant as it rises up into each of your fingers coming all the way up to the knuckles just making all of the muscles in your fingers completely relax just feeling so good soaking all the way down to the bone as it comes up into your hand, making the muscles in the palms of your hands relax. Everything's just feeling so good, so wonderful and calm and peaceful as you let that warm, pleasant energy rise up past your wrist, up into your lower arms now making all of the muscles in your lower arms relax. Let go of all the stress. Let go of all the tension. Let go of all the worry and care. As you just lay back and listen to the sound of my voice, letting my words create your reality. That warm, pleasant energy is coming up past your waist now coming up into your stomach, into your lower back, making all of the muscles in your abdomen relax, just feeling so good as it soaks into your abs and your obliques and the muscles of the lumbar, just feeling so good, soaking all the way down to your spine, making everything feel wonderful, just so completely peaceful and relaxed. You can feel that warmth continuing to spread upward past your elbows into your upper arms, making the biceps and triceps, all the muscles in your upper arms completely relax. And in your torso, you can feel it rising up past your solar plexus, coming up into your chest making all of the muscles in your chest relax, your pectorals and your shoulder muscles. And as it comes up through your arms into your shoulders, those feelings of warmth and pleasant relaxation join up. You can feel it filling you up all the way to your collarbones, rising up further and further. Everything from your shoulders down is completely relaxed now, just feeling so good, so very relaxed, calm and peaceful, as you let go of all the stress and just listen to the sound of my voice, letting my words create your reality as that warm, pleasant energy comes up into your neck now making everything feel so good, so completely relaxed, as you can feel the knots of tension in your neck just melting away, feeling so good, so relaxed and peaceful, as you just lay back and enjoy the warmth, feeling it coming up into your head now, coming up toward your ears, Feeling all of the little muscles around your ears and into your jaw, making all of the muscles in your jaw relax, in your chin 
and around your mouth, up into your cheeks, just feeling so good. And now you can feel it making all of the little muscles around your nose relax. Up into your eyes, making the muscles in your eyelids relax. All around your face, up into the eyebrows, up into your forehead, just feeling you completely, coming all the way up to the top of your head, making everything feel so good so peaceful, at ease, and relaxed as you just lay back and enjoy it and listen to the sound of my voice drifting further and further into that wonderful state of trance. Now the only muscles that are working are the muscles that you're using to breathe. So go ahead and take a deep breath. Feeling so good as you breathe in more of that warm, positive energy and breathe out the last bits of stress and tension and care, breathing in deeply, feeling warmed and cleansed, breathing out all the last bits of stress. And each time you breathe in, I'd like you to go ahead and open your eyes. And as you breathe out, Go ahead and close them again. Each time you breathe in, breathing in more of that warm, wonderful energy, you'll be able to open your eyes just a little bit less, becoming a little bit harder each time, as if weights are being added to your eyelids. And each time you breathe out, it'll be just a little bit easier to let them close again. Breathing in that warm, positive energy opening your eyes just a little less each time, breathing out the last molecules of stress, letting your eyelids close a little more easily, breathing in, opening them a little less, breathing out, closing them a little more easily. It just feels so good to breathe in and out, opening your eyes a little less each time as you just relax and breathe and listen to the sound of my voice letting my words create your reality for you letting my words do all the work all you have to do is relax and breathe your eyes are feeling very heavy now and if you'd like to go ahead and let them close you can do that just let them close, let them lock shut, because it just feels so good to relax and listen to my voice and breathe, feeling so good, so very relaxed as you continue down into that wonderful, blissful state of trance. You're doing very well now, going deeper and deeper into trance. And if you'd like to try to open your eyes, you can try, but you'll find that you're not able because it just feels too good to relax and breathe and listen to my voice. And that's okay. It's good to relax and to go deeper and deeper into that wonderful, peaceful state of trance. You're doing very well now, going deeper and deeper. And now I'm going to count down from 10 to 1. With each number I count, you're going to go even deeper into that state of trance. 10 times deeper with each number I count, just drifting down like a feather further and further. And when I reach 1, I'll snap my fingers and say sleep. And when you hear that, you'll be able to go a hundred times deeper into that blissful state of trance. Each time I snap my fingers and tell you sleep, you'll be able to go that much further into that wonderful relaxed state. Counting down now, 10, starting further down, 9, going deeper and deeper, 8, 
further down with each number I count. Seven, just drifting peacefully. Six, just like a feather drifting down. Five, feeling better the deeper you go. Four, going deeper the better you feel. Three, just feeling absolutely wonderful. Two, almost there now. One, sleep. You're doing very well now going so much deeper into that blissful state of trance as you just relax and listen to my voice and sleep. Feeling so good, going deeper and deeper each time I tell you sleep. Doing very well, almost as far as you can go now, yet going further and further each time I say sleep. Feeling so good, so very wonderful, as you just drift further and further down, and sleep. Feeling so good, doing so very well, as you go further and further into that wonderful, relaxing sleep. Going into a deep sleep, deep, deep sleep, wonderfully deep sleep, beautiful sleep. You've done very well now. You've gone as far into trance as you can go for the moment, but I'm going to help you to go even further into trance. To do that, I'll need to wake you up so that when we go back down, we can go even deeper. I'm going to count up now. One, starting up out of trance, Two, coming up a little more with each number I count. Three, becoming aware of your surroundings. Four, open your eyes. Five, completely awake now, feeling good, still feeling absolutely wonderful. You're just taking a little break now. So go ahead and stretch your muscles. Shift your weight if you need to. Just feeling good, feeling absolutely wonderful. As we complete our little break now and start going back down into trance as I count. 10, going back down now. 9, feeling absolutely wonderful. 8, going further and further down. 7, 100 times deeper now. 6, 1000 times deeper. 5, going deeper the better you feel. 4, feeling better the deeper you go. 3, almost all the way there two, deeper and deeper, and one, sleep. You're doing very well. Just a few more steps now as we go deeper and deeper into that wonderfully relaxed state of sleep. Just feeling so good as we go further and further into sleep. Doing so very well. Just a few more steps now as we drift further and further to sleep. Just a couple of more steps now, going deeper to sleep, further and further into that blessed, blissful state of sleep, that beautiful sleep, deep sleep, deep, deep sleep, wonderfully deep sleep. And you've gone as far as you can go now deep, deep into trance, and it just feels so good as you continue to listen to the sound of my voice and allow my words to create your reality for you. And as you continue to lay back and relax, just feeling wonderful and listening to the sound of my voice, your mind starts drifting back going back through your memories and you think about the time before you came to the human world, before you were sent on an assignment to explore and to learn about humans, living as one of them, being transformed into one of their kind. You think back to the world that you came from where you lived as an animal, 
It was such a wonderful place. The natives called it Kakua. It was a world without humans. A world populated by intelligent mammals and birds, reptiles and amphibians, including you, of course, back before you were transformed into a human. You remember what a beautiful world it is, full of green things, full of life, vegetation, many rivers and lakes and streams, vast woodland areas with their bold, brilliant colors every fall, huge pine forests that stay green all year round, and the rainforest with all its many exotic plants and animals. But in addition to those, there are the icy lands, home of polar bears, penguins, and reindeer. There are the deserts, where the camels and the lizards thrive. Large, sprawling meadows full of grazers. And of course, big, beautiful, gleaming cities, where every kind of animal can mix and mingle in peace and harmony. This is a world without predation, where the carnivores live on fish and insects, and everyone gets along with one another. You think about this city, the last place you were before you were sent to Earth, and how beautiful it was. The buildings all had such interesting designs. Some of them looked like trees, some of them were designed to look like horns, and still others, like large, tall animals. And still others were simply abstract buildings. Somehow, it all worked. The city was gorgeous, bright, clean, and gleaming. Your mind is leafing through your memories of the city and all the things that you saw there. At the train station where you first arrived in the city, there were creatures of all shapes and sizes getting on and off the trains. You remember seeing a Palomino who was busy shining hooves for a living. There were also buskers there in the station, like the koala who was playing the guitar and the dog who was dancing to his music. And, of course, that funny rhinoceros mime who had painted himself silver and was pretending to be a robot. As you left the station, you remember being so impressed with how bright and blue the sky was and how fresh the air smelled, not like a city at all, as you enjoyed the fresh air, a wonderful smell drifted into your nostrils. The smell of popcorn. There was a park to your right, and in that park was a vendor selling popcorn. Looking closer, you could see that the popcorn vendor was a binturong, and he was filling a box full of popcorn for a young pigeon. A cow and a bull were sitting on the grass enjoying a picnic lunch while their calves played tag. There was a puppy flying a kite and a buffalo just laying in the grass enjoying the warm air and sunshine. You remember all the wonderful shops in the city like Chachi's Pizzeria run by Chachi the goat Peanuts and more. The ice cream parlor and candy shop run by elephants. Knit for you. A shop where sheep could sell their wool, which would then be knit into jackets, sweaters, 
scarves, hats, and blankets. You remember the art museum where tours were given by a turkey. And of course, there were so many fast food restaurants, too many to count, like Otter Joe's, where you remember seeing a wolf eating a salmon patty shaped like the leg of a deer. A very popular item, I'm led to understand. As your memories continue to drift through your mind, you leave the city and begin to remember the suburbs. So many different types of home, all of them beautifully kept and pleasant to look at. Some of them were houses, just the same as you would find a human living in. Other homes were made in tree stumps, under rocks, inside logs, or dug directly into a hillside. You remember seeing an otter outside of his burrow mowing the grass, and next door an alligator mowing his lawn. As the two became hot and tired, they turned off their mower and stopped to chat at the fence and share a bottle of lemonade. Driving down the street, you remember seeing a weasel in a pedal-powered truck. The bat was filled with loads of cool ice cream treats to sell to the boys and girls of the area. Everywhere he went, the little bells on his truck jingling, puppies and kittens, children of every species, would run out and rush to buy his treats. Delicious ice cream and popsicles, flavored like fruit or chocolate, chicken or beef, alfalfa or hay, whatever the particular desires of that species might be. You remember buying ice cream from him yourself. It was banana flavored and it was delicious. Later on, you recall taking a tour of the Rainforest District. It was absolutely amazing, with trees so tall they seemed to stretch on forever, and entire villages built around the trunks of those trees. From the birdhouses all the way at the very tip top, to the homes of monkeys, anteaters, lizards, and squirrels near the middle, to the homes of burrowing animals down in the roots of the trees, and running between the trees, a great blue river with boats sailing either direction and docked on both shores, some of them simply there to serve as home. And patrolling the river, you could see Amazonian giant otters, as well as a hippopotamus, keeping everyone safe and free from crime. It was all absolutely amazing. You can remember the smell of the trees and the flowers, the moss, even the river all blended together to form an absolutely amazing panorama of scents. You also remember the polar district. Great swaths of tundra, followed by enormous glaciers. Buildings ranging from simple leather tents to enormous crystalline skyscrapers, many of them built directly out of the ice itself. It was very cold, but very beautiful. And the people seemed very happy. The polar bears, the penguins, the arctic foxes and the ptarmigans, the otters, the huskies and the reindeer, 
all going about their business, blissfully unaware of how cold it was, or else enjoying the very fact that it was so cold. And as you looked up toward the peaks of those crystal towers, you could swear that you even saw a reindeer fly. And the best place of all in the ice district was a little place called Rosie's, where a friendly otter maid served up delicious cups and bowls of soup to cold foreigners, where visitors could sit around a roaring fire wrapped in warm, comfy blankets, sipping soup and hot chocolate and other warm liquids. And it was there that you had the best noodle soup you ever had in your entire life. You remember riding on the river from the ice district to the other end of town, riding on a glass bottom boat. And as you rode along, you looked down to see the homes of the underwater creatures the manatees, the dolphins, the orcas, the beavers, even a few otters. You remember a friendly young platypus who swam along under the boat and waved to all the passengers. You remember seeing the air pumping stations built in the shape of great cypress trees, pumping in just enough air to keep each of the denizens of the underwater homes comfortable, with entire stories full of air for otters and beavers, and just a thin layer for the dolphins. It was absolutely fascinating how such a bustling community could exist at the bottom of a river. And when your journey on the river was complete, you found yourself in the desert. At first, it seemed like there was nothing out here until you rounded a corner and saw a tall, bustling pueblo filled with camels, armadillos, lizards, toads, and all kinds of warm weather animals. You remember being approached there by a fennec, asking you if you'd like to buy a burrito. She insisted, it's not real beef, it's made from beetles. She was a little bit pushy at first, and so you resisted. But she apologized for coming on so strong. And so you bought one of her tacos, and it was delicious. There was a monkey selling dates and figs a donkey peddling nuts, and a dingo with a cart full of sombreros. You recall, in the town square, there was a wizened old kangaroo making a beautiful sand painting on top of the stones. It was a pleasant, if sweltering, way to spend an afternoon. All this and more you remember, having planned to see as much of the city as possible before you had to leave it for good, leaving behind your wonderful furry world to come to earth and live as a human. And you find yourself missing the old world. It makes you just a little bit sad that you haven't seen it in so long, but you have your memories and it makes you happy to sit here, leafing back through the pages of your mind, thinking about all the wonderful things you did, saw, heard, smelled, and tasted back in your old furry world. And you know that someday you'll be going back there again when your job here in the human world is finished, when you're through observing 
and taking notes and living here as one of them, then you know that you'll go back again to the world where you were born to once again live as an animal. When you awake out of trance, which you are free to do at your own leisure, you will remember everything that you have been thinking about during this time. You will remember the ice district and the rainforest, the river, the city center, and the meadows, all of the wonderful places that you visited in the furry world. And they will seem very real to you. They will seem so real that you're sure you've actually been there. And it will be pleasant for you. It will make you happy to think about these things, about all these wonderful experiences that you've had in your memory. And should these experiences become too real for you, if it should become necessary to cause them to seem false once again, all it will take is the phrase, snap back to reality. When you hear anyone speak the phrase, snap back to reality, then all of these memories will fade from your mind and you'll once again remember your human life without any regret, without any remorse, just contentedly resuming your existence as a human. Once again, you will continue enjoying these memories of the furry world until you hear someone say, snap back to reality. And now, I'm going to leave you to enjoy your memories, to continue thinking about and remembering your life back in the furry world in as much detail as you want, just feeling happy, feeling so contented and peaceful and happy as you continue to remember these things. And when you're ready, you'll wake up in your own time, come out of trance, become fully awake once again whenever you're ready to do so, and you'll feel refreshed, renewed, and you'll remember everything that you experienced during this session. Goodbye. And thank you for taking this trip down memory lane with us here at the Transformation Parlor.